So a few days ago, Kyrie Irving had some breaking news. He officially asked the Cleveland Cavaliers to trade him, and he said he no longer wanted to play with LeBron James and wanted to be the focal point elsewhere. And apparently, LeBron James was blindsided and disappointed by Kyrie Irving requesting a trade. And to me, this is Kyrie Irving on the verge of making the biggest mistake of his career. Now before I get started with the video, I have three things to say. Number one, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, but not only that, hit the notification bell next to my subscribe button, simply just if you want to get videos when they release, because I released two videos, I released a Kobe Bryant story, and I also released a Jonathan Simmons story, but apparently they didn't hit sub boxes, so if you haven't checked them out, go check them out, they are on my channel, but yeah, if you guys want to maybe not miss out on some videos, then you can hit the notification bell. The second thing is, unfortunately when Kyrie Irving said that he wanted to be traded, I was really really busy on that day so I couldn't make a video for yesterday which I apologize for but obviously this video is coming out today and then I'm also going to make another video about how Kyrie Irving was almost traded to Chicago. If you're excited for that then let me know down below in the comment section. And the third thing is just thank you man, just really honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much. If a video does really poorly or a video does really well, it doesn't matter. You guys always show a lot of support on every single one of my videos. There's always people in the comment section saying how much they love the videos and things like that. So I really do appreciate it. You guys are seriously the best. Every time you like the video, it really does mean a lot to me. And then obviously on Twitter, you guys show a lot of support on over on Twitter as well. So I really just want to thank you guys. And if I could thank you guys every single video, I would. But this was the time I thought, I just want to say thank you. Obviously, I've been talking a little bit too much, so let's get on to the Kyrie Irving video. We all know that Kyrie Irving wants to be the focal point of an NBA offense, and yeah, well, guess what? He requested a trade to leave Cleveland. But let's actually look at this. Is this the smartest move or the dumbest move by Kyrie Irving? Because people may forget, but Kyrie Irving was already the main guy in Cleveland before LeBron James got there. And we all know how well he did leading a team. In fact, we all know how bad he did leading a team. The Cavs consistently had a top five of the worst record in the league, and I get it. Kyrie Irving was young. Don't think I don't understand that. I get that. Young players typically don't lead their teams to, well, a high seed. I mean, LeBron James in the, his two first seasons in the league, he didn't lead them to the playoffs. So I'm not having a go at Kyrie for that. What I am going to have a go at Kyrie for is that, yeah, LeBron James has set out this season, and when LeBron James set out this season, the Cavaliers weren't even close to being a 500 team when James has set out. You needed LeBron to get to the NBA Finals, Kyrie. LeBron James doesn't necessarily need you, Kyrie. So, to be honest with you, that's the main point I have to say about that. The second thing is, well, he's got a couple of preferred destinations to land to. When you think about it though, it's not Kyrie Irving's choice of where he ends up. Kyrie doesn't decide, oh, I want to play in Minnesota, I want to play in Miami, I want to play in New York, San Antonio. It's not his choice. He doesn't have a no trade clause like LeBron James does. Kyrie Irving, you can be dealt anywhere. Just think about that. So, let's actually talk about his preferred destinations. Because Minnesota, you're not going to be the main guy. You've already got Carl Anthony Towns. Now, this may not be who's a better player, Kyrie Irving or Carl Anthony Towns, but Carl Anthony Towns has been in Minnesota for a couple of years. You can't join that team and become a star player. The star player I'm talking about. Considering they also got Jimmy Butler, who, in my opinion, I think Jimmy Butler all around is a better player than Kyrie Irving. Jimmy Butler's better on defense, arguably better on offense, but it's hard to tell they play different positions. But you understand the point. The next team is San Antonio. Well, you're not going to come into San Antonio and be the star player over Kawhi Leonard, are you? So, the next team, New York. Okay, you can go to New York, but why would you want to go to New York? Typically, they're going to trade you for Carmelo Anthony, because LeBron James wants to play with Melo. Then you've got, what, Kyrie Irving and Chris Stapps Paul Zingas? It's a nice young team, but I don't think you're going to go very far. Even though you're in the East, that's the only positive you have. The second team is Miami. Miami, yeah, you will be the star player. You get to team up with Hassan Whiteside. And that's about it. It's pretty much the same as New York. And I'm a Miami Heat fan. Would I love Kyrie? Of course I'd love Kyrie. But for Kyrie Irving, I don't know why you'd want to come to Miami. I mean, I get it. Miami's a nice place. But what's your team going to be? You, Dion Waiters? You don't even get along with Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters doesn't even get along with you. Remember in Cleveland, they didn't get along with each other. So do I see that happening? Nah. 
So if you look at all those four teams individually, I don't see him going to any of those teams. Now, yes, it could easily happen. Miami could make a trade. New York could make a trade. But Minnesota, they're not going to be able to make a trade in my opinion. And San Antonio, who are they going to give up? LaMarcus Aldridge? Why would Cleveland want LaMarcus Aldridge? So there's a lot of issues when you think about that. If Kyrie Irving really wants to be the man, I don't think there's really any team that he stated he wants to play for in that scenario. I just, I, I don't see it. Now, if you go to New York or Miami, you'll be the man. But at times, or just when you go there, it will come at a cost. Going to New York, you're basically swapping places with Melo, like I said before. And in Miami, you're going to be the first option. But with LeBron James owning the Eastern Conference, you're not going to be going very far. I will say that. And I'm a Heat fan, so that's saying something. Now, if Irving does want to wait, he can potentially be the man in Cleveland. He can actually stay in Cleveland and be the man because we've all known for a while that LeBron James could potentially leave the Cleveland Cavaliers after this season. He's going to free agency. If Cleveland doesn't win a championship this season, I mean, I don't see why he would stay in Cleveland. The Golden State Warriors are just too good. He wants to play in the banana boat team apparently, so I just can't see LeBron James staying in Cleveland after this season if they don't win an NBA championship. So why not silence your doubters, Kyrie? Why not take the Cavaliers to the NBA playoffs without LeBron James? How about that? Now, you're not going to be Kobe Bryant, by the way, Kyrie, either. You're not Kobe. Shaq and Kobe, we understand. They had that beef going on. That's why Kobe wanted to be the main guy and he left Shaq. Even though he didn't leave Shaq, he stayed in you know, LA and told Shaq to get out. Shaq went to Miami, won a ring. Then, a couple years later, Kobe Bryant won a ring in LA. So in the end, look, both of those guys, if you look at them this year and you ask Kobe and Shaq together, after they've retired, did you regret leaving each other? I guarantee you they, they probably would say yes because imagine how many rings they could have won. In saying that, it's different. You are not Kobe Bryant, Kyrie. And LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, I mean, LeBron may retire a lot earlier than Kyrie, but when you think about it, when, let's say that, that everyone's career is done, LeBron and Kyrie. It's not going to matter because there, there was no team like Golden State when Shaq and Kobe played, right? This Golden State team is really going to, as Mike Corzema said, break the NBA because really, like, it's terrible. Golden State has ruined the NBA and it makes, you know, teams like Cleveland have to split up because there's no chance of beating them. So, let's just say this. It is a Shaq and Kobe situation where you've got two alpha males wanting to, you know, be the star player. In, in, in saying that, actually, LeBron James is willing to play with Kyrie Irving, and, we, and we've seen it. It's Kyrie Irving who doesn't want to play with LeBron James. But when you think about it, you're not going to carry a team to the NBA playoffs, Kyrie. LeBron James will do that. You just have to be there for him and with him. And at times, you were there. You were definitely there. You were clutch. Kyrie Irving, the, the one thing I can see with Kyrie Irving and Kobe Bryant, you've got the clutch instinct, man. You've got the black mamba mentality. When the game's on the line, I know you're going to be there. I know you're going to hit a clutch shot. That's what I see with you and, and, and Kobe, Kyrie. But when I look at you, Kyrie, you're not going to be Kobe Bryant. You can't demand a team like Kobe did. You can't, you know, take a team to the NBA Finals. And that's not because you're not good. It's just because of the NBA that you play in. You've got too good of teams to do that. If you leave LeBron James, you've got LeBron James you're going to have to compete against. You've got the Golden State Warriors you're going to have to get, compete against. You've got the Houston Rockets you're going to have to compete against. You've got the Thunder you're going to have to compete against. You've got the Spurs. You've got all these teams. So I just can't see you carrying it team like New York to the to the finals or Miami to the finals. Do you get that? I hope you guys do. The next thing is, even if LeBron James doesn't leave, you will be the man eventually. The beauty of Kyrie Irving is that he's young. And whilst LeBron James is aging, Kyrie Irving will be the most dominant part of the Cleveland Cavaliers when LeBron James is, you know, passing his torch to Kyrie and he will allow Kyrie to be the first option because LeBron James, although we know how good he is, he won't be here forever, so Kyrie will definitely have the torch pass on to him. And let's just assume that LeBron James has a more playmaking type role, which allows you, Kyrie, to get the shots that you want, even though LeBron James has been a, you know, facilitator his whole career, as he ages, he'll, I reckon he'll become more of a facilitator for you, Kyrie. Now, I get that you want to be the main guy, Kyrie, but when you think about it, the Cleveland Cavaliers never held you back. Irving still remains one of the league leaders in isolation possessions and overall dribbles. 
I get it. You may be the second option on scoring, but to be honest with you, why would you, you know, throw away a winning culture and an opportunity to play with the greatest player in the modern era that, well, for me at least, obviously there's different opinions, but for me, LeBron James is the greatest player in this modern era, and you're going to waste that? You're going to leave him? And you what? Going to have the same amount of money. You're going to have a worse team. You're just going to be the star player. Even though we've seen it before when LeBron James is off the court, it's not like you step up, Kyrie. Your team doesn't win games when LeBron James is off the court. But if you want to do that, you do you, Kyrie. I think you're on the verge of making the worst mistake of your career. But that's just my opinion. Let me know down below what you think in the comment section down below. I think it's really interesting, though. Where do you guys think that Kyrie Irving will land up? I think, honestly, New York, Miami, I just can't see him going to, what, Minnesota? That's not even a possibility considering, well, they can't trade Jeff Teague, so I don't know who they would trade. And then San Antonio, who are they meant to trade? Patty Mills? I mean, LaMarcus Aldridge? I don't know why Cleveland would want Aldridge, an old power forward where you got Kevin Love anyway. So I think there'll be a three-team trade, and um, it'll probably involve Phoenix. Cleveland and New York or something along the lines of that but let me know down below what you think about Kyrie Irving and I will make a new video about how Kyrie Irving was almost traded to the Chicago Bulls so if you're excited for that video look out for tomorrow's video if you guys enjoyed this one and you want NBA videos regularly definitely hit that subscribe button leave a like on the video let's aim for 3,000 likes that would be amazing and I'll catch you guys in my next video peace